tutoring for Seeds of Literacy is about more than simply volunteering. Um, tutors are, are, are the backbone here at Seeds of Literacy. Um, they are really the reason why we are allowed to offer that one-to-one -one instruction. We could never offer that to our students without a core of volunteers. Um, we've been very fortunate over the years. We probably always have an average of anywhere from 200 to 300 active volunteers that help out. Um, but they are the reasons why that the students are able to receive that individualized attention um, that they so much seek. From these different backgrounds, our tutors bring their own experiences and their own unique motivations. I was an engineer my entire career uh, in electrical engineering and I designed circuits and uh, chips and wrote software. So I, I, te I taught, I teach, I taught <laughs> at Avon Lake High School for 26 years. I, after college, I was a computer program for a few years and then I quit because we had a family. I was a government lawyer for 37 years before I came to SEEDS. Well, I, I was um, an engineer at NASA Lewis Research Center, which is now Glenn, last NASA Glenn, for almost 36 years. So I had a lot of you know, interest in science and math. And so that was, that's a thing, thing that I thought I could offer up to people. I was a teacher and I was also a tutor. I also worked in a, a computer lab um, at a high school. So I've been involved with, with teaching and students almost all my life. Who are these tutors, you might ask? You may be surprised to learn that our tutors come from all walks of life. When I was in grade school and high school, you know, I, I didn't have confidence. Uh, I, I thought that it was really too much for me to do. Well, I've always had an interest in education because I, I grew up in a family of teachers. Um, but as an engineer with some math skills, um, I thought, well, maybe I could apply that. Well, I actually didn't know I was going to come back and tutor. I thought I would just maybe come back and do some filing, just kind of help out. You know, I didn't think I would be, I, and I tell my students to this day, I didn't think I was going to be tutoring. And um, I saw in SEEDS an opportunity to um, maybe help some students who uh, maybe they were, they were at maybe where I was after high school or that, uh, Maybe I could give back to them. Well, partly because I, I want something to do, and this to me is a very important thing to do, to help these people. And I just thoroughly enjoy it. I really enjoy it, working with the students. I think at the time I, I called it a birthday gift to myself because I was uh, you know, turning, I think it was 55 um, in September, October. and. Uh, I had the opportunity with where I was working, the, the hours that I worked gave me the flexibility to do this. So it uh, seemed like a good fit, seemed like something I could do. Uh, I guess I just wanted to volunteer. Like I said, I had some time, uh, the kids were grown, and I just thought, you know, this might be a good way to, to do a little bit of volunteer work. And like I say, as it turned out, it's and I've told so many other people, I nailed it. I mean, I got probably the best, most rewarding volunteering gig you can get, so happy for that. Yet for all their differences, SEED's tutors seem to have some important things in common. Tutoring at SEEDS of Literacy is really satisfying. It, it, I look forward to coming down. You know, I, I wish I could come more. I do manage to try to make it once a week, uh, depending on whether we have to take care of the grandkids or not. But <laughs> A lot of times I think that tutors enter this, including myself, thinking, this, I've, I've had a good education, this is a chance to give back to the community. And, which is a, a, you know, a noble thought, but what they don't realize is how much they get in return from the students. It is no doubt in my mind I got more out of it than I put in. There, there's no doubt in my mind. I, Seeds has changed my life in a very, very positive way as somebody who's, who's tutoring students and uh, hopefully what I've provided for them has been a positive thing for them. It's been a good experience. It, you know, it feels good to help, be able to help somebody. It feels good. It feels good. I, I like it. I, 
So that's, it's been an enriching experience for me and for my family, I believe. And uh, the rewards are great. Uh, it, it, like I said, it feels good. I, I enjoy doing this. Everybody, if you get more out of come, if you ask any tutor, I'm sure they will tell you they get more out of than they ever feel they gave. The relationship between students and tutors is special and unique. It's different because you have that interaction. It's just you and, and the tutor. Before I came to Seeds, I wasn't in a good place. I wasn't in a good place. Um, it's, it's hard. It's hard. And I've heard a lot, too. People, you know, it's like, People talk to their hairdressers and their barbers and their tutors. So. I love my tutor, especially my math tutor. <laughs> um, I stuck with him the whole time. And a lot of times he got frustrated with me, but he had so much patience too. So I was able to learn the material and leave here with my best foot forward. I kept looking at the flyer and I'm like, try tutor, huh? I never thought of this, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, okay. Maybe that's what I need. It's very joyful. It's it's very rewarding. I really enjoy it. I I enjoy meeting the people and uh, getting to know them too. I really do. I've heard a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and it's just you know it's touching. And sometimes I don't know how they do it, but uh, I try always to keep the a positive thought. And I just stay. I stayed. I was. I came here. We come here for three years, and I finally got it. It seems as though every one of our tutors thrives on seeing our students succeed. Well, I I really like to interact with the students, and to get to know them, and when when they're learning, you see the light bulb go off. That is just so much fun to see that. Every day I have a memorable experience at Seeds, and, and the memorable experience is a student succeeding. And that success may be that the student actually gets their high school equivalency diploma, or that, or that success may be that a student understands how to do a long division problem. What I really like about it is that, you know, people, when people really get it, all of a sudden hey, their eyes light up and they, you know, okay, I get that idea. That's, that works good, it's really good. And uh, great, greatest experience probably is, you know, every year when there's graduation. But to see 30 to 40 people with big smiles on their faces, come up and get the certi certificate from Seeds of Literacy with the cap and gown on. Uh, that is something that is appreciated, I think, as much by the tutors who have worked with these people as the, uh, the students who actually are receiving the award. All those graduates on graduation day. It's, uh, it's uh, very inspiring for all the tutors and then the students. So what is it that makes someone an effective tutor? Empathy is vital in this. It's not quite like teaching in a classroom where you're just talking and hopefully they're learning and writing down notes and all that. This is just the two of you. It's just like arguing with your wife. There's nobody else to go to. It's you and me and we're going to work together. And if, I don't, if you don't get it, I'm not giving it to you right. You got to ask me again, or I got to ask you, what am I missing here? What don't you know? Uh, what didn't I say right? It's, it's an enormously close give and take relationship. A good tutor has to, number one, adjust to the student. The student may not adjust to you, but you have to adjust to them. In my experience, the, what a good the characteristic that a good tutor needs to have, the principal characteristic that a good tutor needs to have is patience. Make a good tutor, uh, to be a good tutor, I think patience is one. Uh, knowing when to, you know, when to uh, I interact with them, you know, let, trying to let them do the most that they can do. Number one issue or 
requirement is patience. You must be patient. Patience. Um, confidence. I think the main characteristic that a, a tutor would need is a lot of patience. Uh, you know, sometimes a student might be struggling, and again, you see this in math. People, some people just aren't math oriented, and uh, you just have to be patient. You might have to repeat yourself, repeat you know, over the same problem. They never got upset. Um, even if I had, I didn't understand it for like five times, like in math, they would just um, break it one at a time until I would understand it. Uh, it takes a lot of patience to do that, but when you see it work, then the patience is rewarded. It's all good. If you make a mistake, just acknowledge the fact that you made a mistake. And if you don't know the answer, once again, tutoring math, that it does happen where you just draw a blank and you just, you know, let them know you'll get the answer. Don't be afraid or reluctant to ask for help. I do it all the time. Seeds of Literacy's unique model sets it apart from other adult education programs, as President Bonnie Entler explains. I think personalized education and tutoring is so effective because of the relationships that the students and tutors build with each other. Um, the tutors are really there to support the student and offer guidance, and I think it is great that it's really two adults working together. It's that peer-to-peer um, trying to figure out an issue or a problem, and they also allows the student to really see that they have the ability to figure out the knowledge and just have to figure out the different steps to kind of get to the answer that they're really looking for. But you don't have to take our word for it. Both tutors and students get more out of the one-to-one -one experience. Teaching is in a classroom with anywhere from 20 to 40 people. This is a one-on-one -on -one between the student and the tutor. And in that way, it's a lot different. Whereas you went to the other place, at the other place, it was like a group. So you kind of got to wait around for the teacher to get to you if you need help or whatever. But with the one-on-one, it's, it's, it's very private. You had an individual um, attention. Yeah. They made me feel comfortable. Um, they didn't treat me like a child or someone that didn't know anything. They kind of um, helped me right where, where, where I was at, you know, and they made me feel like it was okay, not saying it or patting me on the back, but the way they engaged in helping me. You know, it's like they let you start where you want to start. You know, they, they, it's not pushy, it's not rushing, you know, it's just they let you go at your own pace. You know, they let you be you, you know. Actually, the tutors made me feel comfortable. I was more comfortable that I had the one-on-one -on -one, um, experience. So they kind of like, um, they gave me more comfortability back. You didn't give up on me and you didn't get upset with me. You would just keep on trying, you know, with your kind words, your patience, your kindness, and your caring heart to see me be successful and succeed to be able to go further. Before, you know, I, I couldn't talk, <laughs> you, you, know, you know. So that's why I say too much. But now, since then, I'm, I'm talking better now, a lot, you know. And uh, they help me every day I, I come, you know. You know. Besides just um, helping you learn. I mean, they really conversate with you. I feel like um, the tutors that I work with would ask me about my, you know, outside of the, this classroom and would keep tabs on that. And you just can't get that anywhere else. You know, I had a little breakdown and, um, you know, uh, one tutor in particular, he was, uh, he made me feel so comfortable and like, you know, I didn't want to give up and, I do like kind of um, lose track of my concentration. So he's like, yep, oh, come back, come back here, come back, you know? And it's like, oh, I needed that. You know what I mean? I need that. Someone, that, and you can tell that they care about us. You know what I mean? So that, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. The people here, they motivated me. They gave me the push that I needed. Um, they, you know, keep you motivated. 
you know, most of it is self-motivation, but they're very helpful. It was just so encouraging, like keep going. Like they believed in me so much that I began to believe in myself. I was so comfortable. The tutors is the one that really made me feel comfortable when I wanted to give up and not come back, you know, cause I was scared really to, you know, to, just doing the work was a challenge, it was scary, you know, but the tutors, you know, made me feel so comfortable. They made me come back every day. They made me wanted to get up and come back. You know, and that's why I'm here today.